Praise God. Hallelujah. This is Bishop Brethren of Blackman, and I'm just thanking you once again for tuning in here. Amen. And making yourself available to hear the word of God as he has put it on my heart and share with you. And I'm I'm just excited about um, this series and, and, and healing your church and six ways to bring healing to your church through, through, through counseling with the elders and through preaching the fear of the Lord and, and, and preaching a word of deliverance and sowing um, healing. Amen. And next we're talking about building strong families. Hallelujah. That in building strong families, you can bring healing to your church. As a matter of fact, we find out through the scripture that the, the, the church is nothing but the family coming, to, coming together. And when you build strong families, you build a strong church. When you healed, heal the individual families, you heal the church. Amen. The, 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 the church, the collective church, amen, the body of Christ, we come together as the church and we, we come together as families first and then we are the church. Amen. And so as we bring healing to families, we bring healing to the church. Hallelujah. Let's look in the book of Ephesians. I love to base everything I teach upon by the word. Amen. And let's, let's look in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and we'll begin at, um, at verse 22. It says, Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Very critical. Um, in this day and age, you know, uh, we can get women and wives to, to be submitted to their own husband, we can provide a great deal of healing. You know, uh, you, you're, you're submitted unto your senior pastor, your senior leader, and everything, but, you know, wives, you need to be submitted unto your own husband and not going home saying what pastor said, pastor said, pastor said, and the man, if he don't go to church, you know, he's like, I'm so sick and tired of him, pastor, you know, you go live with pastor if you like pastor what he say so much, you know, uh, what well, the Bible says, wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. The Bible says that also that if he is without the Lord, that, that he may behold your, your chaste lifestyle with fear, and, and that he may fall down on his face and worship your Lord and God. You know, so you can win him through being chaste. But um, it, it says, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is also the head of the church and the Savior of the body. Therefore, the church, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be unto their own husbands and everything. Then it goes on to say, Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Husbands, we, not to, we ought not to be giving ourselves for ourselves, but giving ourselves for our, our bride. Amen. Loving our bride the way that Christ also loved the church and that he is our example of love and that we are to live to measure up to the example of love. And if we pour out our love and, 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 uh, for our wives, we will be healing our wives. Strong families. Amen. Strong families make for a strong church. A healed family brings healing to a church and imparts healing unto a church. If everybody is sick, then everybody will only be sick. It takes someone to inject healing into that church for that church to be healed. We need families that, that, that have been together for several years. My wife and I have been married um, for about 18 years now. And, you know, we, we realize that our marriage serves as an, as an example unto others around us. And there are people who look at our marriage as an example and they, they follow that pattern and they are healed. Amen. And they don't know why they do certain things. They simply follow the example of their bishop and, and they follow the example of their pastor and then they are healed. They walk in healing, not knowing why we do some of the things that we do. Amen. So as, as the wives are subject to their own husbands and, and as husbands loving their wives, that these these two come together in this great healing moment and bring this healed body of the church and now they can serve it as an example of what a functional family looks like. Now know this, there has never been a fully functional family in the Bible, never, ever, ever in the entire Bible. The Adam and Eve, the first family, got corrupted right off the bat. And from since then, I mean, their kids, you know, killed each other. Pretty bad situation. But in Christ Jesus, there's a greater hope for you. There's a greater hope for your family. As the husband takes the lead and as, as the wife submits herself unto her husband. Then as Ephesians 6 goes on to say that children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Amen. The reason why children are to obey their parents, because it's the right thing to do. This is what a healed family looks like with a husband that's following Christ with all of his heart, mind, soul, strength. Amen. He's loving God with all of his heart, all of his mind, all of his soul, all of his strength. Hallelujah. This is what that saved man looks like. And then the wife is submitted unto her husband and the children in, in obedience to their parents. This is the ideal 
family. This is what God's ideal family looks like. And as we come together in this great healing anointing, as we come together, amen, seeing God and seeking Him, we'll be able to make a mark on this generation that cannot be erased. So remember, people of God, friends, family, and loved ones from border to border, coast to coast, even around the world, that God gives us times of peace to prepare for times of war. So ready yourselves with the Word of God. God bless you. Love you. And Jesus is